The Randolph County Sheriff's Office has opened a homicide investigation after a man's body was found in a wooded area in Moberly yesterday. Sheriff Aaron Wilson tells ABC 17 News Moberly resident 35 year old Corey Davis was found dead near the 900 block of North Moulton Street. ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live outside the Randolph County Sheriff's Office. Mitchell, the cause of Davis's death is still unknown. Megan Lucas, Sheriff Aaron Wilson told ABC 17 News this afternoon that when they found Davis, he had a big goose egg knot on his forehead and there's a possibility of foul play. Around 9 a.m. Monday, the Randolph County Sheriff's Office received a call from a man who said he had found a body near North Moulton Street in Moberly. When Randolph County officials and the Moberly Police Department arrived, they found 35-year-old Corey Davis dead inside the wood line. There was some suspicious stuff with the body that we think that uh, uh, needs further looking into. So, uh, um, you know, we ruled as a homicide at this point in time until we know differently. Sheriff Aaron Wilson stated Davis did not have wounds from a gunshot or a stabbing. However, a large bump on his forehead led officials to believe foul play was involved. We did, we did find some, um, some drug paraphernalia uh, yesterday in, in some bags and stuff that were left around. So we're not really sure if that's tied to this or not, um, or if it was left by somebody else, but we seized all that. This is a look inside the tree line around where that body was found. And Moberly police say that oftentimes homeless people will use this wooded area to camp. Davis was reportedly staying with friends in the area at the time of his death. He had been staying with some friends just uh, just around the corner from there on Jefferson Street um, at, at a couple trailers. So, we're, like, like I said, we're trying to piece it all together to figure out, you know, if there was some sort of disturbance or what happened, you know, and... We're not real sure right now without talking to some of these other people and trying to get their statements. No arrests have been made yet, but Wilson stated there are several persons of interest that they are looking to speak to. There's also going to be an autopsy performed on Davis tomorrow, and uh, Randolph County, the Randolph County Sheriff's Office hopes that that will help lead them in the right direction. Reporting live in Randolph County, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News. Mitch, thank you. Of course, we will provide more updates as they become available both on air and online at abc17news.com.